after taking London by knee-slapping storm and winning the 2015 Olivier Award for Best New Comedy, Mischief Theater's The Play That Goes Wrong is ready to wreak havoc on Broadway. We're here at Sardi's in Times Square to meet the cast and to find out more about this must-see farce. So, for those who aren't familiar with The Play That Goes Wrong at all, can you tell us a little bit about what the show's about? Um, so, it's a bunch of amateur actors uh, from the UK who are trying to put on a murder mystery that's set in about 1920-something. Um, and they're doing their absolute best to put on the best show they can, but due to unfortunate circumstances, their own idiocy, uh, a lot of it goes wrong. Anything that can go wrong, does go wrong. And it's about the characters trying to desperately keep the show going. You learn a little bit about their kind of backgrounds and their stories you see who they are, but mainly it is just about the endeavour of trying to do it right when everything is going wrong. You don't have to follow the story particularly, you don't have to be particularly intelligent, you don't have to, to have a, a message. You can be intelligent, that's fine too, but it's not a heady show, it's just about relaxing and enjoying yourself. JJ, the, the promotional materials for this show like to say that you're only producing because you obviously lost a bet or something. What is the true story about why you, you joined the team? The, the true story is that I, I was shooting The Force Awakens in London. I looked to see what was playing. There was something called The Play That Goes Wrong. I bought a ticket. I went. I'd never seen an audience laugh that hard. They since won the Olivier Award and have been running now, sold out for three years. I, I think this is a universal, it's Monty Python meets Buster Keaton. It's a brilliantly conceived deceptively brilliant uh, uh, comedy, a reverent farce, and to be involved in it at all, with Kevin McCollum especially, uh, is a real thrill. What's the best part about playing around in this carefully choreographed chaos for all of you? You have two hours, basically, where the audience are just allowed to laugh at you and not worry about anything. And I think for me, hearing that first wave of laughter when somebody falls over or gets hit by a door or forgets a line or whatever happens is a, is a real joy when you've got that many people just releasing and just letting themselves go and laughing. The people that come are whole families. So it's like 80 year olds and six year olds are laughing together. And anyone from any demographic, any age, you can kind of Everyone laughs at people falling over. It's fun and that you can lose, you fully lose yourself in it. It's not political at all. It's not kind of trying to be something that it's not. It does what it says on the tin. You're coming to see a play that goes wrong. And anyone, anywhere in the world needs needs to laugh. Like, whatever your situation, wherever the your, your home situation, the global situation, the country situation, everyone needs to laugh. And I think it's, it's everyone needs a show like this. Yeah, what kind of a night are audiences in for when they come to see The Play Goes Wrong? Really stupid one. It's, it's, it's really, it's such a silly, fun night out. You just get to relax and sit back and enjoy madness happening on stage in front of you. I know I will go again and again. You will see me in back because I love to laugh. And it's a laughter that's not just surface laughter. It's really about the human condition as we're all trying to figure it out. And I think it's why we come to the theater. We all want to be with a bunch of strangers and after a couple of hours leave as a community. And this play will do that. It'll connect us. And, and that's on the deeper level. While you're laughing your ass off. Can I say ass on cable? Uh, it's the internet. You're going to laugh your ass off, all right?